If you're wondering how to keep your team warm while working remotely, we've got the answer for you. It's called the HEAT Framework. And by using this with remote teams, you'll feel connected and aligned and your team will be more productive. Stay tuned. So many of the leaders that we work with uh, were explaining that they were having a hard time keeping in touch with their teammates who may be working remotely, many of them now working from home. And what we suggested was creating a very simple framework to lead your people through on every single phone call. It's called the HEAT model, and I'm gonna walk through each one of the letters in HEAT and how it can be useful for you when managing a remote team. The HEAT meeting framework is super simple, and that in itself is the brilliance of it. You see, the challenge for most leaders is they don't have a lot of time. They're probably managing multiple projects, multiple initiatives. And so what they asked us for was a way to hold calls with their teammates that felt productive and on point, allowed their teammates to feel heard. And so we built the HEAT framework to do exactly that. By following the four prompts of the HEAT framework, you can better manage and lead your team while also making some deposits in their emotional bank account. The HEAT framework goes like this. So the first letter in HEAT obviously is H and H stands for how are you? Now this seems maybe again oversimplified, but the goal of H in HEAT is to ask simply, how are you doing? And then follow it up with how are you really? You see, most people, when they are asked the question, how are you, they'll answer, fine, I'm good, things are fine. Uh, but when you ask, how are you really, that's when you might get to peel the onion a bit. And people will probably relate to you that it's actually pretty challenging working from home, that I have puppies that are new to the house and it's creating a lot of commotion. Uh, my kids are here in the afternoon, so I'm not getting a lot done in the afternoon. And by understanding that with your team, it allows you to adjust and modify maybe your expectations or their workload, and at the very least offer them support. When you ask, how are you, make sure you're not solving anything for them. You are just simply listening. The E in the HEAT model stands for expectations, and expectations go both ways. The way that you might facilitate this in a dialogue with one of your direct reports is to say, hey, what do you expect to get done this week? Or what are your expectations of me as your leader this week? And so if you have built enough trust in your teammate, they will likely be very honest with you. They're gonna say, well, you know, I had the expectation to get X, Y, and Z done, but I found that it was way too much. And so I ended up only getting about a third of that done. I feel really guilty. And at that point, as a leader, you can say, no worries. We're getting backed up on other projects. It's fine. Understanding expectations is really critical. You see, the uh, absence of expectations just creates pre-planned resentments. So if you are not crystal clear on what your expectations of, are, of your team are and making sure that's up front, uh, then it does leave room for error down the road. So E stands for expectations. The A in heat can stand for a variety of things. It could be acknowledgement, it could be appreciation, or it could be accountability. When we talk about acknowledgement, here's what that means. Quite often, people on a team just need to feel acknowledged for something. And right now, the majority of people out there working from home are not getting the level of acknowledgement that they used to get when they were in the office. So by simply saying, hey, I acknowledge the fact that your kids are home in the afternoon, and I appreciate the fact that you're getting all the work done that you are in the morning is enough to give them the attaboy or girl they need for the week. Accountability could look like this. You've told me what your expectations are for the week. How can I help you uh, stay accountable to those expectations? And just by offering that level of accountability, it also states that you're there for your teammate as a leader. The T in HEAT stands for teamwork or togetherness. And bottom line is, when you are working from home, it may feel like you're working in a vacuum. You see, in the office environment where most people work, 
it's easy to see that there are things going on. It's the hustle and bustle of the office environment. You're seeing things being checked off to-do lists. You're having meetings and committees that are talking about all the progress that are being made. When you're at home, you don't necessarily feel the same drive. So when we talk about tea in the heat meeting, it's all about, hey, together, we're gonna get through this or together we'll accomplish more. So let's make sure that we're working together as a team. Quite often that togetherness, the tea and heat, might just be saying, listen, I'm here for you. If you need help, I'm here. So together, you and I, we will get through this as leader and direct report. If you leverage the HEAT framework, H-E-A-T, how are you? E for expectations, A for acknowledgement, appreciation, or accountability, and T for together, we will accomplish more. You'll be amazed at how productive your team is and how cared for they'll feel uh, from you as a leader. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the videos so you never miss another leadership nugget from Renzo. See you in the next one.